Hi, I'm Danny from House Fresh, and behind me are some of the best air purifiers for large spaces that you can buy. My recommendations are based on benchmarking and testing of over 80 different air purifiers since 2020, and they'll be broken down by category. Best overall, best budget option, quietest option, best for construction use, and even an air purifier you can build yourself for $85. Now, some of the devices you might recognize, but I'm sure you'll be surprised by a quite a few. For large spaces, you need a high clean air delivery rate, or known as KDAR, to provide multiple air changes in spaces bigger than 500 square feet. So all of my picks today have a high KDAR rate. Now, before we jump into the complete list, I first want to talk a little bit about our testing process. Sadly, most best air purifier videos or lists are nothing more than a latest list of the best selling devices. At House Fresh, we don't let commission decide what we choose. We test every air purifier in our 728 cubic feet test room and track how quickly it can remove PM1, PM2.5 and PM10 using two purple laser particle sensors. This means we can compare air cleaning performance across devices like this. Next, we measure the sound levels. As we know, there's many situations if a device is too loud, it's just not going to be used. We found that 45 decibels is a good limit, so we identify the fan speed that is just under 45 decibels and run an additional performance test to see how well this device works at this fan speed and sound level. We then measure how much energy is used at each fan speed, including standby. Next, we look at long-term costs, like energy on your bill, but also replacement filter costs, looking at the costs of filters, both OEM and generic. Finally, and most importantly, we don't just test our devices, we live with them. Our home is full of air purifiers, so we can find out things that testing in isolation won't reveal. First up, we have the best large room air purifier overall, which is the Blast Mini by Smart Air. We first reviewed this device back in July 22 and looked at the latest Mark II device in 2024. Now, the KDAR for this device is 435 CFM or 740 M3H. Now, Smart Air recommends it in spaces up to 915 square foot, but you will get 4.8 air changes in spaces up to 703 square feet. When we tested this device running at its highest fan speed, it managed to clean our test room in 12 minutes, which was the fastest we'd ever seen in any of the devices we've tested. But what was more impressive is that at its lowest fan speed, which was at sub 45 decibels, it still managed to clean our test room in 16 minutes. We can compare these results to other devices running less than 45 decibels. As you can see in the table above, the PC fan kits still provide a quieter operation, but for pure air cleaning power at sub 45 decibels, the Smart Air Blast Mini Mark II is the device to beat. At higher fan speeds, it can be a little louder, but please have a listen for yourself. Whilst this air cleaner performance is massive, it can be quite power hungry, pulling 122.7 watts at its highest fan speed. Now the filters for this device are massive and Smart Air says you should be able to replace them every 33 months, which keeps the cost of running this device to be fair and in line with other large KDAR devices. Some other features why I'm such a big fan of the Blast Mini for large spaces. The first one is it's heavy, made of metal and comes on wheels. Unlike many devices that be quite delicate, this device is built like a tank. So it's perfect for a situation like a school where kids are passing by as it's not going to get damaged easily. Second, lack of smart features. Smart Air doesn't provide sensors, scheduling or app support with any of their devices. And whilst it might seem like a major downside, I don't find it is with this device. You don't need to worry about Wi-Fi or app connectivity to get the device running. You just use the simple mechanical switch to get it going. And this also gives you a benefit as you can use this device with any smart plug. As it doesn't need to be manually switched on, you can use a smart plug to schedule and switch on the device from any location. I personally have our Smart Blast Mini connected to the Philips Hue plug, but you could do that with any device. Another benefit, which you wouldn't expect, is that this device can kick back on automatically when there is a power cut. Many other devices that have smart functionality will need to be switched on manually, whereas this device, as soon as the power comes back on, the air purifier will come back on. 
Thirdly, Smart Hair has upgraded the pre-filter with the Mark II device. Having a pre-filter that is on the outside of the device and is visible just means you're more likely to keep on top of it compared to cylindrical devices where the pre-filter is on the filter and hidden away and you're less likely to remember to keep it clean. And we know dirty pre-filters can really affect performance by up to 40% some downsides to be aware of the Blast Mini. The first one is it's not cheap. In the UK, it'll cost you between 432 and 468 pounds, depending on which filter you go. And in the US, it starts at $599. It's also not really Mini. Now the Mini name comes from the fact that Smart Air has the Blast, which is basically a wall on wheels, and the Mini is a Mini version of that device. But it is a large device. It's not something you could just hide away in a bedroom. It's likely to stand out and something to be aware of. It also can be quite loud at its highest fan speed. So it hit 56.3 decibels, which might not sound like much, will be much louder than what you would want in say a classroom or an office where you need to concentrate. But it is good to have that extra power at that extra sound level. Now, finally, Smart Air is one of the good guys in our industry, which is sadly very rare. They're very open in their marketing and very clear about exactly what their products can and can't do. They're also active within the clean air community. And for this reason, the Smart Blast Mini Mark II is my top choice overall for large room air purifiers. It's the device that I want to see in my son's primary school, especially in places where there's lots of foot traffic. Now for the next category, best bang for your buck. Now this recommendation is aimed at those people wanting the very best performance for dollars spent for large spaces. And our recommendation is the Air Fanta 3 Pro. Now it builds on the design of the Corsi Rosen hole box, but instead uses a PC fan array and custom made filters. At $149.99, you get a massive KDAR of 463 CFM, which can provide 4.8 air changes in spaces up to 681 square feet. Now, when we tested this device in our test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 14 minutes. And we can compare this to other high KDAR devices, and you can really see the value that the Air Fanta 3 Pro brings. Be aware that whilst this device uses PC fans, running at its highest fan speed can be allowed as many of the retail HEPA devices that we've seen. It hit 56.3 decibels. But try finding a HEPA retail device that gives you KDAR north of 400 CFM for less than 150 bucks. The good news is that you get a power adapter with the device that you can adjust the voltage and thus the fan speed and the sound level. Now we tested 8.01 volts and got a sound level of 47.3 decibels and it still managed to clean our test room in 17 minutes. The device also did well with the optional HEPA and carbon filter. When we retested our device with the HEPA and carbon filter, it still managed to clean our test room of PM1 particles in 18 minutes. Now be aware you have to get the filters from Air Fanta as they're custom made for this device, but the prices of the filters are very fair. So with the HEPA 11 filters, you pay $59 and with the HEPA and carbon, they are $74 dollars and 99 cents. Now the total running cost of an Air Fanta 3 Pro running at full speed with the HEPA filters is $125.23. This is more expensive than other PC fan kit devices but is in line with many of the HEPA retail devices we've tested. If the KDAR at a low price doesn't win you over for this device, there's also another feature that might. You can actually break down the device and travel with a normal travel on luggage or even put it in a backpack. So this is a great choice for those who want to travel to a location and still have a high KDAR device when they arrive. You will not find another air purifier that can provide over 400 CFM of KDAR that you can break down and travel with. Now, like Smart Air, this device doesn't come with any smart features, but the power meter that comes with it does allow you to find the sweet spot for the level of sound that you're happy with and then just let it run. For those looking for best bang for your buck for large spaces, the Air Fanta 3 Pro is our top choice. Next up is the quietest option. For those looking for the very quietest running operations, such as those in classrooms or offices, you'll want to check out our choice, which is the Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits. 
Now the Luggable XL builds upon the design of the Corsi Rosenhall box. Whilst the Corsi Rosenhall box works well and uses box fans, they can be quite loud and very large. Now Clean Air Kits improved upon this design by using PC fans. So they have a device that is quieter and uses much less energy. Now the Luggable XL has an estimated KDAR of 323 CFM and is available for $299. And when we tested this device in our 728 cubic feet test room, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 20 minutes. But what was more impressive was how quiet it was. Looking at the table above, we can see that most HEPA retail devices are just much louder, especially running at their top fan speed. But we can also account for this and compare performance running at fan speeds lower than 45 decibels. And you can see how impressive the Luggable XL is. The big benefit of a device like the Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits is that all the parts are user replaceable. So first you have the fans. If any of them break, you can just replace them for any 140 mil fan. And although I have to say the Sickle Flow 120s that they include are some of the best that we have seen. And when it comes to the filters, you can use any type of HVAC filter that measures 25 by 20 by 1. Now I would say check out the 3M filters that they recommend as we found that those filters perform best when testing against other filter brands. It also has the same benefit that the Smart Air Blast Mini is that you can connect this to a smart plug, it doesn't need to be switched on, and you can give it scheduling benefits that you wouldn't get outside of the box. And finally, with the Sickle Flow 120 fans, you can actually power the device with a battery pack with a USB-C to DC barrel connector. Now there are three downsides to be aware of with this product. The first one is it's not cheap. So if you don't need the very quiet operation, you might find that your money goes better with something like the Air Fanta 3 Pro. And the second one is durability. Due to its design and the fact that the filters are exposed, it's far less durable than a HEPA retail devices or even the design like the Air Fanta 3 Pro. And the third one is you will probably have to build it yourself. So the kit version and the other versions will mean that you have to put the actual device together. However, if you are in the US and you don't want to build it, then they do offer a service where they will pre-build it. But this isn't available for those outside of the United States. Downsides aside, the Luggable XL is the quietest air purifier you can get for large spaces. Whilst it might cost more initially compared to other HEPA retail devices with similar performance, it will save you money in the long term thanks to the fact that it uses PC fans with their lower energy usage and that it uses standard HVAC filters, which are much cheaper than the manufacturer filters that are made. So if you're looking for an air purifier that runs as quiet as 38.8 decibels and can still provide five air changes per hour in spaces up to 485 square feet, the Luggable XL is our choice. Now if you need a device to remove the particles and gases caused from a renovation or inside a workshop, then you want to check out the Aloe Air Air Scrubber 550. Now it's made of a roto molded polyethylene chassis which is super strong and durable. And this device comes with three types of filters. First, you have a MERV-10 filter for dealing with the very largest particles. Then you have a HEPA and activated carbon for dealing with the tiny particles and gases. Now it has a reported KDAR of 550 CFM, which should mean that it's good enough for spaces up to 800 square feet. But you can also daisy chain three of the devices together for a total airflow of 1,650 CFM. Now, this device, when we tested it in our test room, managed to clean all PM1 particles in 16 minutes, but it doesn't come cheap. It's available for $497 when we put this review together and we can compare this to other devices. To be clear, I wouldn't want to use this device like a standard air purifier. When we tested the levels of sound, it was one of the loudest devices we've tested, hitting 74.5 decibels. Not only that, but this device is very power hungry. At its highest fan speed, it pulls 224 watts. And if we assume you're gonna run this device 24-7, 365 days a year, which I know is not likely, it can be very, very expensive. But for those who want something durable for a renovation or workshop scenario, the Allo Air Air Scrubber 550 is a device you should consider. Finally, we have an option for those who don't want to buy a new air purifier. 
If you have a box fan at home somewhere, you may be able to build an air purifier suitable for large rooms. I'm talking about the Corsi Rosen Hole Box, which was invented during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now it uses four or five HVAC filters attached to a box fan with tape, and even the EPA has done its own studies and found that the Corsi Rosenhall box design is the most effective DIY air cleaner for removing wildfire smoke. Now the very best design uses five HVAC filters, a cardboard shroud, and is on stands. Now we've tested two variants of the Corsi Rosenhall box. The first one that just uses four HVAC filters and no shroud, and it managed to clean our test room in 32 minutes of all PM1 particles. And we also tested a variation with a cardboard shroud, and it managed to shave two minutes off that time, cleaning our test room in 30 minutes. So really it's worth taking the time to build the cardboard shroud because it will mean your device performs better. There are two downsides to be aware of with the Corsi Rosenhall box. The first one is it takes up a lot of space. It uses 20 by 20 by one inch HVAC filters. So when you build the cube, it can be quite big, takes up a lot of floor space. And whilst it might not be issue for everyone, it is something you need to be aware of. The second one, and probably the most important one, is it can be quite loud due to the fact that the box fans do make a lot of noise. So for our Corsi Rosenhall box, we measured 60.7 decibels at three feet away. And we can compare that to other HEPA retail devices we've tested. That being said, if you want to build an air purifier that is good enough for large spaces, the Corsi Rosenhall box is our number one choice. And you may even have many of the parts already at home. And you can get an estimated KDAR of 274 CFM, which is pretty impressive. Before I finish this video, I want to talk about getting air purifiers for very large spaces, those measuring a thousand square feet and more. And what you'll find when trying to find a solution for these very large spaces is that even our top pick, the Smart Air Blast Mini, won't be powerful enough to provide enough air changes in these very large spaces. Now, Smart Air does offer the Blast, but even that will max out at 1,300 square feet and cost $929. An alternative is to use multiple devices in the same room. And you can calculate the power of using multiple devices in one room by adding the KDARs together. And I'll show you with an example. So we have the Luggable XL, a single unit has a KDAR of 323 CFM. If we use two of them in the same room, we have a total KDAR of 646 CFM, which will give us five air changes in spaces up to 907 square feet. We can do the same with the Air Fanta 3 Pro. A single unit has a CFM KDAR of 436 CFM, if we get three of these running in the same room, we have a total KDAR of 1,308 CFM. This will mean that we can get five air changes in spaces up to 1,960 square feet. Now on the Housefresh website, we have a KDAR calculator where you can enter the measurement of any room sizes and it will give you the KDAR requirements for the air changes you need. Now, I hope my recommendations for the best air purifiers for large spaces was useful. And as always, if you have any questions about the devices we've mentioned, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video.